Hey, hey, how you doing? David Taub here with Epic Guitar Instruction. Hope all is going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. Today you're going to learn The Long and Winding Road by the Beatles from their 1970 record, Let It Be. And we're going to do it in standard tuning, low to high, E, A, D, G, B, E. But we're going to use a capo on the third fret. And this is going to get you in the same key as the original recording, so you could play along with the record, right? I've seen this transcribed in other ways with the capos in different positions, but I think at the third fret here, this makes it the easiest and will get you playing the fastest. And when I talk about the chords and give you the chord voicings, I'm going to give you them the names of the chords relative to the capo. So just keep in mind that even though I say like A minor, it's not ringing out to the pitch of A minor, that's actually ringing out to the pitch of C minor, right? If I take the capo off, right, it's actually ringing out to that pitch. So not to be confusing, I'll give you the chord voicings in relation to the capo. And the chords you're going to need to know to play this song are A minor, F over G. Now that's this little mini F chord, right? And it just has a G in the bass. If you can't play that chord, that's okay. Just play in place of it, just play the F chord. Like I say, I'm going to be adding a lot of the bass notes to accurately transcribe this from piano, but you don't necessarily have to play those slash chords. You could just play, you know, the bass chord or the main chord. And then there's a C major. Add your pinky on the G string at that third fret, right? And that's a C7. E minor. D minor. G major. C over G. So we're playing a C major chord, adding a G in the bass. Again, if you can't play that one, just play the C major. C over E is another one in the song where you just add an open E string to the C chord. And if you could do me a huge favor, please subscribe to the channel. You know, subscribing to the channel, that really helps us to keep bringing the content, as well as then you'll be notified when we have new lessons up. Leave a comment below. Let us know how you like this lesson. Let us know what lessons you'd like to see coming up. And please, if you like the video, uh, click the like button, give it a thumbs up, share it, and thank you so much for your support. The song is basically two different progressions. There's verses, and all the verses are the same. And then there's this bridge section, which appears at two different parts in the song, and that's the same. So you get these two progressions down, you have the whole song. So the song starts off with a beautiful piano right into verse one, right? Four verses in the song, they're all the same. Let me play the verse for you, and then I'll go back and explain what I'm doing. So let me just show you that arpeggiation where we're kind of playing the melody. Right? How this starts off the song. So start off kind of with an A suspended second chord. Take your first finger off the A minor. And you're going to strum the A sus2, then add your first finger with a hammer on on the C note, which is in relation to the capo, it's not ringing out to C, right? Right? So you get the whole chord with that added note and you get that, you get that sound there. So first finger come down hard on that first fret on the B string. Then open B string. Open A string. Take your third finger off the uh, G string because you play the open G string next. Then that second fret there with your second finger sounds like this all together. Right, then you go that little F chord. Then F over G for four. And you're into the song, right? C, C7. Now the strum pattern, we're gonna use the same strum pattern throughout the whole song. It's just a matter of, most chords you're on the strum pattern one measure one time through, some two times through, some three times through. Here's the strum pattern we're gonna use. It's gonna be down, 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 up. Down, 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 up. And it's slow, you don't want to rush this. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up. I'll play the arpeggiated part and I'll go into a few of the chords, but you can hear, I'll do it slow, and the strum pattern works really well. Just remember when you get to that F chord, 
you're going to do it three times through. And on the A minor, you do it twice through. And then the last chord in the, in the verse, the C, it's twice through the strum. So slow together, it'll sound like this. Okay, so you get the feel of it and that strum pattern we're going to use throughout the song. Now remember when it goes that second time from that C to C7 where he says I've seen that road before. To me it sounds like on the recording he's actually playing a B flat over C chord. That's the chord. Now that's a tough one to voice as well as it just doesn't transcribe as well using the capo in this particular position. But if you want to play it, you just bar across four strings uh, at the third fret with your third finger, and you're barring across that A, D, G, and B string. B flat over C. And that sounds the most accurate. And I always try to be the most accurate as possible, you know, the most authentic to the original recording. But C to C7 totally captures it. You can even put a little extra into the C7 right there because it's building into that. Uh, it always leads me here to that F chord. That's the verse. So we do basically it goes verse one, then repeat a verse, verse two, which is the 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 wild and windy night, right? And that goes into the bridge section. And if you're having trouble with that F bar chord, right, or bar chords in general, I could really help you with that. I'll tell you what. Click on that link in the YouTube description box below. I'll send you my extended play video lesson. It's not on YouTube with all my best bar chord playing technique tips and playing secrets, and it will get your bar chord playing and changing black to the next level fast. I'll pair it with an ebook also in which there's more lessons, chord charts, more practice exercises. It's a great one-two punch. It'll really help you. I'll send them both to you for free. Just click on that link below. Now the bridge section, we're going to use the same strum pattern, uh, but here are the chords. It goes, that's a part it goes many times, you know. So many times, C over G, I've been is F alone, and many times C over E, I've cried. D to G. And then uh, anyway, C over G, you'll never know F, the many C over E's, ways I've tried, D to G. Okay, we'll use the same strum pattern, down, 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 up, but on that D minor to G, which is one downstroke each. Let me play the bridge for you, and that bridge appears twice in the song. Same exact progression. First time he's singing over it, the second time it's instrumental. Here's how that sounds. Into verse 3. So after the bridge the first time, he goes into verse 3, and still they lead me back. And then it goes from verse 3 into a bridge again. And it's the same exact chords as the first time, except the first time you play the bridge, except this time it's, he's doing it instrumentally. And then it goes into verse 4, but still they lead me back. Same progression as the other verses. And then there's an outro. So the end of the song, the outro, he basically does verse 4, but still they lead me back. Same as the other verses. But when it gets to the last line, don't keep me waiting here, lead me to your door. We have to, instead of going um, F, don't keep me E minor, waiting here, A minor, same as before, D minor, lead me to G, your door. Normally you would play a C chord there. Instead of playing the C chord there, we're going to play this little outro progression. I'm kind of transcribed in the piano. It kind of sounds like this. Ends on the C. So all I'm doing there again, same move with that A suspended second to the hammer on, first finger to A minor. Then open B string, same as before, then come right up, leave that A sus two fingered, come up the G and the B string, and then you're going to play an F note, which is basically at that add your pinky 
to that third fret on the D string. That sounds like this. Right? And then you're gonna play that F over G four times, like in the verses. And on the C. So right from the last part of verse four, right at the end of the song, the Don't Keep Me Waiting here, I'll play it from there into the outro. enjoyed this lesson a lot of fun playing this one um, stay tuned I got tons more killer lessons and content coming don't forget subscribe to that channel right that really helps us to keep bringing the content and then you'll be notified when we have new lessons up and click on that link in the YouTube description box I'll send you my extended play free video lesson on essential bar chord playing and changing techniques and exercises it's awesome it'll really help you in your bar chord journey just click on that link below. Thank you so much for your support over the years and years, and thank you so much for checking out our lessons. Lots more to come. Keep having fun with those guitars. Enjoy, and remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. Take care, and rock on. Yeah!